And lower speed limits are coming to one part of Indianapolis. This comes after City County Council approved a plan all in the name of safety. WRTV's Taj Simmons starts us off tonight on the near east side with a look at why people there say this is necessary. We have about 105 children in the building today. Teachers at the East Town Street Methodist School say they are worried to take kids on its namesake street because of the drivers. Oftentimes when we're walking, they are uh, holding on to something, a rope or, you know, something to keep them in that straight line. This is exactly why they're worried. The school says a car veered off of 10th Street and ran directly into its fence. I know we're all in a hurry to get somewhere. We're all, you, you know, got somewhere to be, but uh, we need to keep people safe as well. City County Councilor Jesse Brown says the bad driving in his district is not just a 10th Street problem. It's a near east side problem. That Dunkin Donuts right there was just hit by a car this month. The Can Can Cinema was hit by a car within the last month. It's horrible. I myself was hit on my bike on 16th Street, very close to my house. 10th Street, I don't even ride my bike on. Brown's plan to slow drivers down was approved by his fellow counselors this week. It reduced neighborhood speed limits to 25 miles per hour on much of the near east side, including the area around East 10th Street Methodist. You just never know when someone might, you know, lose control and it's kind of scary, but but slowing down is definitely uh, going to help that. Brown believes the slower speed should be the first step towards safer east side streets. Investments in traffic signals, in new sidewalks, in protected bike lanes. We want your grandma to be able to walk uh, the grandson down the street and for everybody to be able to be safe. And the staff at East 10th Street Methodist hopes nobody else drives into where their children play. Uh, drive like your children live here. On Indy's East Side, Tosh Simmons, WRTV. Brown says he hopes to expand the lowered speed limits to more sections of the Near East Side in the near future.